As a mother, this was one of my worst fears. If I let my kids play video games, surely they will end up living in my basement for life with no friends and no chance of having a family. And they would have pizza stains on their shirt. I'm gonna have to force them to take a shower because they smell so bad. And for goodness sake, they're not gonna be able to function in normal society or even get a job or even talk to people. And who would be to blame? Me. And guess what people would say? Oh, that's the mom that let her kids play video games. Well, guess what? This is completely a myth. Let's reimagine the world of video gamers. They're often connected in a multiplayer game, having real conversations. They're confident in their strengths. Things like strategy and competition, history, war, and even content creation. And they're working on career skills. Things like teamwork and leadership. Gamers had all of this during the COVID-19 disruption and they thrived. In this global pandemic, we were all thrown into a new weird world, right? Of social distancing, unending quarantines, and painful loneliness. Loneliness can lead to physical and mental decline. According to American Psychological Association, loneliness can lead to things like unhealthy habits, psychiatric disorders, cognitive decline, and even a shorter lifespan. We all have an intrinsic desire to connect. For me, I can really relate to the loneliness. I'm an extrovert, so loneliness is painful. In fact, I needed help. Netflix binge watching sure did help. I wonder if you could agree with me on that one. Okay, it's a true confession. I watched all of Bridgerton, that's right for five hours straight, and here's why. They set you up. They say, next episode starts in a few seconds. Well, guess what? That's not enough time to go get something to eat or even get something to drink, so I stay glued right here on the couch for like five hours straight. Meanwhile, I noticed that my boys were gaming. They were talking to other people, they were enjoying themselves, while I was passively sitting here watching a show by myself. During the long isolation, I could have lost my boys to things like depression or anxiety, but instead, it was a gamer's dream come true. I mean, they loved every minute of it. Can you imagine knowing that there was really good friends waiting for you right there in your room? When I grew up, it was completely different. My parents didn't know where I was or who I was with, but now I got to sit on the couch and overhear their conversations. And I noticed that they were making friends with new people. They call them randoms. Okay, see, I'm learning their lingo. It's pretty cool. So I actually got to monitor their real relationships happening in real time. EA Sports says that there's now 3.2 billion gamers on the planet. That's almost 41% of the entire human race. That is a huge people network. You might think that all gamers have lost touch with anything that's not related to video games. And you might think you yourself have lost touch with anybody that's playing video games. Well, not so. My son, my oldest son, plays MLB The Show. So he's learned about all the famous players from the past and the current ones. He can talk to an 80-year-old man about the legends like Jackie Robinson or Joe DiMaggio. And he can talk to an eight-year-old about the current hotshots like Mike, Mike Trout and Bryce Harper. This has given him extensive social knowledge, which makes him a great conversationalist. 
In fact, he plays the game himself and he has a college scholarship. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to figure out what all the different pitches are even called. COVID changed the workforce entirely. In fact, I used to travel and I would speak in front of large groups of people. And then I was asked to get on a screen, buy a webcam, get a new headset, even a ring light to accomplish work-related goals. So who do you think I turned to? My gamer boys, they've been doing this for years. In fact, we used to have so many fights. I mean, I would tell them, get off the screen. That's too much screen time. And now I was the one on the screen all hours of the day and night. I didn't realize how valuable gaming had been for my boys. They were working together to accomplish goals with their friends. And now I was working together to accomplish goals with my coworkers. Did you know a lot of companies are now offering an option to stay home as well as possibly go back into an office? It's called hybrid. And in fact, companies are also finding out that they can have a national or international workforce. Wow, connections have been made. And think about it again. My gamer boys have made connections with people all over the world, and I used to discredit them as real, yet many of us have made bonds with coworkers that we've never even met in person. This is unbelievable. Bonds truly have been formed digitally. These bonds lead to people helping each other. My youngest son is now entering the workforce doing 3D modeling for a building company. All those years of Minecraft paid off. And this is a big deal. My son has severe dyslexia. And because of gaming, he had confidence and friendships to get him through difficult days. It's not just about my sons. Tech Jury publication says the global gaming market is exploding and is about to reach $250 billion by 2025. Esports enjoys an audience of over 400 million people. Get this, 2020 saw 60% growth in game playing among people aged 45 to 54. That's my age, according to Business Insiders. And if you're wondering what their most popular game is, it is Animal Crossing. I still haven't become a gamer myself, and I really want you to be my friend, the old fashioned way. I text, I talk, I get together with people in person. Wait, my boys, they still want to get together with people in person too. See, they're hybrid themselves. I'm so proud of their successful life skills through gaming. Now, my biggest fear is, will you guys let me live in your basement someday. Yes, yes Mom. Mom.